got a pretty exciting package this morning. It's my Enlightened Equipment Enigma. I just can't believe I'm lifting this with one hand and this is fully packaged as well. So I'm really excited to get into it and uh, actually have a look. Hey guys, here I am and I'm really excited to start ripping open this box and to see exactly what this online equipment quilt looks like. And the first thing you'll see is that the quilt comes in this beautiful organic cotton um, stuff sack bag which um, I guess acts as your storage bag um, while you're not using it. So, and I'm all about the organic so that is something really cool for me. 100% fair trade organic. And then inside is the quilt itself. Oh my god, <laughs> this, this is so light, I mean it feels like it, it would weigh less than my shoes even, um, wow, okay, I was not expecting that. Um, so let's have a look at some of the features, now first of all um, I was going to get a custom made quilt but unfortunately the timing between um, when I was leaving America and when I'm going to be getting back to New Zealand it just didn't really work out. So the, the custom quilts you can order them but they take somewhere in the region of three to five weeks for enlightened equipment to obviously make them and then ship them out. So the only really, the only thing that I was um, looking forward to in having a custom quilt was that I got to choose the colours because um, I'm fickle like that right? Um, so I just decided to buy an off-the-shelf version instead. I mean, it's exactly the same, right? It's just that it didn't come in the cool, like, red outer that I wanted, for example. So this one is like a, a, a dark blue navy, I mean, it looks like black, um, with a cool purple inner, so I can definitely do that. Um, now, it is a quilt, it's not a bag. Now, that's something that is completely foreign to me, and to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about it. Um, I'm used to sort of getting down into my sleeping bag and putting my um, hood over me and cinching it all up and, and this doesn't have any of that but I guess it's sort of a hybrid between a quilt and a sleeping bag because what it's got, a quilt opens all the way down, right? So this one you'll see it goes sort of halfway and then it's sewn in, the foot box is completely sewn in. So most of the time, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm sleeping in a sleeping bag, I tend to keep the real bottom part closed up still, um, mainly because I find it really difficult to get the zipper back together, you know, when you're trying to stuff it back into your pack, and I just can never seem to get the foot, it was just a nightmare. So um, I thought, well, hey, if I'm not going to be fully opening my sleeping bag anyway, um, what's the difference? Why don't I just get it completely sewn in? box like this. So that's what I've decided to do. Um, it does mean that it's maybe a little bit less flexible than a quilt because it doesn't open all the way out and if you're camping in the, I don't know, spring months and the summer months, you probably find that this is just going to be too hot anyway. But I thought, well, this is enough to go halfway um, and hopefully do the job for both scenarios. In fact, it's probably still going to be too warm even in the summer months. Um, so it's filled with 850 filled down. Um, now I would just say that I was considering getting this, the Enigma, or the z um standard uh, sleeping bag, I forget exactly what it's called. So there's not a lot of difference between the two of them. And I actually thought that out of the two, this one was going to be the better option. They're about the same price, so it's not really a pricing difference. Um, but the z packs has 900 fill, so it's got 50 extra fill, okay, and it goes down to minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is about minus 15, sorry, 5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about minus 15 degrees Celsius, whereas this one is a 10 degree bag, so it goes down to about minus 12 Celsius. Again, I don't really think, I mean, if it's down as cold as that, I'm going to be cold anyway, right? It's not going to matter whether I've got an extra few degrees in my bag. So that's one of the big differences. The second big difference is on the z packs um, it actually has a zip. So the z packs is a sleeping bag, it's not a quilt. So the z packs zip, it, it is very similar to this, it has a sewn in foot box, exactly the same as this, 
And again, this helps to keep your feet warm because the less openings and things you've got down in this area, the less the drafts can get in. So the Z-Pax quilt, instead of having the opening which you can just sort of close up with these clips, it has a zip that runs the full length. Now that obviously means that it is slightly heavier than this. So this weighs in at just under 16 ounces. The z sleeping bag with the zip weighs in at about 26 ounces. So that's quite a big weight difference. Again, I don't know whether it's going to have a huge difference um, in terms of how comfortable I am sleeping at night, but you just got to give these things a go, right? So we've got nine, sorry, 850 fill. We've got the um, open back here, and then about 16 ounces in weight. It's also uh, a pretty tough nylon outer, I think it is. Um, so it's supposed to be pretty resistant to getting damaged and things which is again amazing because if you sit here and, and feel this it feels like you know you could just rip it by pulling too hard. Um, all of the baffles and things are um, specifically designed to make sure that the down stays in place and that's exactly the same with the z packs one as well. I mean when you're talking about camping outside and um, minus, minus degree temperature um, you're going to need something that's going to keep and with a lot of sleeping bags that don't have that added baffle protection, you can find that the down starts to slide down or it disperses throughout. So in order to get the best value and the best warmth out of your sleeping bag, you need to make sure that the down stays where it is. So that's what Enlightened Equipment have done with the Enigma. Um, let's talk a little bit about opening it up. So it's got a couple of um, like poppers right at the very top, which you can open up. Um, to start with, then you've got some clips here. So you just unclip it. These two clips um, that are the next ones down actually cinch down onto your sleeping pad. So um, you can get some straps. In fact, it comes with some straps that you can attach to your sleeping pad, and then you literally just attach the strap to uh, these little toggles, and it secures the um, quilt around your sleeping pad so that you again, minimize the drafts and, and opportunities for that cold air to get in. So it really tries to create as much of a sleeping bag type environment um, as it can without being a sleeping bag. And then the final thing is just to note um, how it secures and fastens around the top. So it's just got a little drawstring pull and you can cinch it right the way up like this. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy that you know you just stick that up around the neck and tie it up nice and tight and you're not going to get any drafts or anything through there. So it doesn't have a hood that you can put over but you know you just take a warm beanie with you or um, Enlightened Equipment and Z-Pack sell separate hoods um, that are made of down that you can buy. Um, to be honest I don't think that's really going to be necessary. If I find that my face and my head are getting so cold that that is necessary then I'll buy one obviously but um, I think I'm going to be pretty fine with just a, uh, a beanie or something like that. And just one final thing that I wanted to talk about is why I decided to go for the Enigma over the Revelation. Um, so Enlightened Equipment also make a, a quilt called the Revelation which completely opens up all the way down including to the foot box. So um, that is a true quilt and what they've got, similar to what you've got on the top here um, for closing up the neck area, the Revelation quilt has a similar thing right down the bottom and it cinches right up and then you basically tie it off. The only problem with that, which is why I decided to go for the Enigma over the Revelation, is that you end up with like this little, you can never fully get it completely closed, right? So you always end up with this little hole there. And I just thought, well, my feet are what tends to get the coldest when I'm out camping, so I just want to make sure that my feet are as warm as they possibly can be. And um, the Revelation, probably a really good sleeping bag, sorry, a really good quilt for the summer months, but once you're starting to think about getting out in the spring and the autumn, especially in New Zealand where it's damp as well, I thought I really want to go for the closed in foot box. That's my enlightened equipment, Enigma. Um, so I'm thinking that probably the first outing this is going to get is when we hike the Lake Waikatiwana Great Walk, um, probably in the next couple of months. 
So I'll let you guys know how it goes. And again, don't forget to check out my social media channels on Facebook and Instagram if you want to see some behind the scenes content that I post from during the week. Um, and don't forget to check YouTube for my weekly videos. They come out on Friday at 12 p.m. New Zealand time, which is about 6 p.m. Thursday in the US. Gotta guys, see you next time.